that this is the first time since 1948 that a president has made an official visit to Dallas. Here comes the big jet end. Here's a cheer going up now as a big jet lands with the United States of America on it. Boy, that's a beautiful ship, a 707 U.S. Air Force One. There it is. The President of the United States seal on the nose. And here comes the President of the United States. There's no trouble at all spotting Mrs. Kennedy with a bright pink dress, a wool dress, pillbox type hat. Clear blue sky and a warm sun. Beautiful day now, just a beautiful day. Boy, this is something. The press is standing up high, getting a lot of shots of this. He's broken away from his plan and uh, gone right up to the fence to shake hands with people. This is great for the people and uh, makes the eggshells even thinner for the Secret Service, whose job it is to guard the man. And uh, the motorcade begins to move out. The president and the first lady sitting in the back seat. As we said, the top is down. They are not using the bubble, so it'll be an open limousine parade. Immediately following the uh, presidential limousine, a car uh, loaded with Secret Service men. It is our understanding that the motorcade will be moving slowly enough so that everyone along the route will have a uh, good look at the chief executive. Thousands will be on hand for that motorcade now, which will be downtown Dallas. The president and his wife and party are going to be visible all through Dallas. And here comes Jackie waving by. And Mr. Kennedy, radiant in that pink outfit. Bob Huffaker is ready to come in from that point. What's happening down there, Robert? The scene is gay down here with uh, red, white, and blue budding hanging all over Main Street. The Dallas Police Department working with a fully augmented force to dispel any fear that unfortunate incidents do not occur on this trip. And very often you'll find a zipper hidden in the uh, arm. In the Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but about 10 or 15 minutes ago, a tragic thing from all indications at this point has happened in the city of Dallas. Let me quote to you this. And I'll, you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press, from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. They were riding in an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife, Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. The president's wife, Jackie Kennedy, was not hurt. She walked into the hospital at her husband's stretcher side. That Governor Connolly was shot in the upper left chest, and the first unconfirmed reports say the president was hit in the head. That's an unconfirmed report that the president was hit in the head. Senator Ralph Yarbrough burst into tears just a few moments ago. Senator Yarbrough said, I saw a Secret Service man sitting on the rear of the presidential car and pounding the car with his hands in despair, anguish, and pain. I knew something horrible had happened. Mm -hmm. 